Hi, I'm Denise Barnesworth. Welcome back to Sunday School. We're glad you're here. This week we're reading a book called Suwe, and Suwe is an African word that means star. The book is written by Lupita Nyong'o. She is an American actress, and it's a little bit about her growing up. Suwe was born the color of midnight. She looked nothing at all like her family, not even a little, not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn, Baba the color of dusk, and Michi, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Suwe either. People gave her sister Meech pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. People gave Suwe names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Suwe felt hurt every time, so she hid away while her sister made lots of friends. Suwe dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. So she got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness and that really hurt. She crept into Mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no, she would hear about this from Mama. Sule decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest and brightest foods. What a stomach ache she had as she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I am from. I want to be beautiful and just, not just to pretend, I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, may I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Sulwe. When Mama came in to wake her for school, the next morning, Suwe rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Suwe told her mama everything. Mama asked, what is your name? Suwe, she mother, and what does it mean? Star, Suwe whispered. Brightness is not in your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Suwe's stomach, the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful, Suwe sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful. My sweet, real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now up you get and out you go. Could she as dark as she was have brightness in her? How could she have beauty when no one but her mother seemed to see it? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Suwe's window. The night sent me, the star said, come with me. And Suwe hopped onto the star and off they went. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star, there was night and day, and they were sisters. They loved each other very much, but people didn't treat the sisters the same. People gave day pet names like lovely, nice, and pretty while night got fed up and walked right off the earth because people gave night names like scary and bad and ugly and she felt hurt every time. Day stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. But then the day grew too long. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. 
There had to be a way to get her back. Day set off to find Night, and she did. I miss you, said Day. And I miss you too, said Night, but you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You're right, I don't, Day replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest night to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. The stars chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors and sunlight can only be seen in the dark. While day had a golden glow, with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little? Not even at all? Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in the form of shadows, and a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. You see, the star explained, we need them both on their sunniest day and their darkest night and every shade in between. Together they make the world we know light and dark, strong and beautiful. Sue rose the next morning, beaming. There would be no hiding anymore. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed to, a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest night to see for herself. Sue felt beautiful, inside and out. And we hope that you enjoyed this book with this message. The author's note says, much like Sue I got teased and taunted about my night shaded skin. I prayed to God I would wake up with paler skin. I tried all sorts of things to lighten my complexion. My mother told me often that I was beautiful, but she's my mother. Of course, she's supposed to think that, it wasn't until I was much older that my feelings about my skin changed. It helped to see darker skinned women being celebrated for their beauty. If they were beautiful, I could be too. I began to see myself differently. While both Suwe and I had to learn to see our beauty, I hope that more and more children begin their lives knowing that they are beautiful, that they can look at the beauty in the world and know they are a part of it. The journey I went on was very different from Suwe's nighttime adventure, but the lesson was the same. There is so much beauty in this world and inside you that others are not aware to. Don't wait for anyone to tell you what is beautiful. Know that you are beautiful because you choose to be. Know that you always were and always can be. Treasure it and let the light and let it light the way in everything that you do. So remember to be happy with the skin you're in and that God sees us not only for what's outside, but what is inside our hearts. And as we work on our Sunday School project, I want you to take that lesson to heart with you. Have a good week.